Hello, parents and scholars. As we've moved from learning in the classroom to doing digital learning at home, we've noticed that we needed to find a better way to keep all of our different links and websites organized. So today I'm going to show you how to access the second grade hyperdoc. You go to your web browser and then go to our trusty daily tech, oops, dailytech.wubly.com webpage. And if you click on second grade, now it's still going to show up as a room nine hyperdoc because that's how my classroom and I were using it originally, but we've updated it since to be reflective of all of second grade. So when you open it, it'll look like this. I highly suggest you push this button and it'll open it up in a new tab. So we have kind of our title page here, that way you know you're in the right spot. And then if I click down here, you'll see information about our most used resources and passwords. And this is gonna be important because it's kind of your go-to place to see all the different resources we have. For Epic, for example, students can click here and then click on, click on the hyperlink, and now it's gonna bring them to Epic. And when they need to log in, they'll choose students and educators and they can enter, oh, that's my email address. Um, they can enter their class code here. So to find your class code, for example, um, this is Mrs. Del Rosario's class code, then we have Mrs. Barone's class code, and finally Ms. Lundquist's class code down here. And it kind of follows that format for the different um, resources we use. Padlet is the username and login is, or the username and password is the same for everybody, so we just kind of left that in general. But Zern, you can see the different class codes here as well. Um, so these are our most used resources for the class. Below is other resources that teachers have sent out. Um, I believe we sent this probably the first week we were doing it, and we've kind of been updating it since. We have different reading resources here for students, additional math resources, kind of some mindfulness resources. It is a stressful time with everything going on. These have different activities to do to kind of, you know, clear your mind, feel better, a little bit more peaceful. Um, we have some things for staying balanced, including the links from Mrs. Mr. M and Mrs. Arvizu here. That way they're also in one place. And then we found a, fun, a few fun podcasts, Journey with Story and Circle Round. Both share stories. Um, they're just fun for students to listen to. And But Why podcast has is um, about different questions that students and children have sent into that particular podcast. Below that, we have a few different poetry resources. So in addition to looking at Epic for their poems in the library, um, the Epic Library, rather, they can also look here. And so if I click on Shel Silverstein, it'll take me to his a page about him from the HarperCollins publishers, and I'll share some of his fun poems. So we just wanted to keep all of your links kind of centrally located and easy to find. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching.